How to export your animation from Calipeg. To export your animation, tap on the settings icon in the top bar and go to the export tab. Then you can choose the type of your export and the format. You can choose sequence or image. In image, you can export as a PNG with or without the background. You can export a PSD file which will contain your layers or export a TGA format with or without the background. You can also decide to export a sequence and it can be a Calipeg sequence which is a .peg file. If you export a .peg file, you will be able to import it back in Calipeg. That's the best way to export your file and save it. And if you need, you can import it back in Calipeg with the import button in the studio. You can export as a PNG sequence and then you have a few options here. You can export one image per sheet. If I don't, that specific drawing sheet will be exported as 15 different PNG files. And if I enable it, it will be exported as a single PNG file. And it will do that for each of your drawing sheets. You can export with the structure of your shot. In this case here, it will export one folder for each layer and one PNG image for each drawing sheet. And you can decide to export or not the background. It's the same principle when you export to TGA. You can also export to PSD. The difference between PSD as a sequence and PSD as an image is that the PSD sequence will export all your animation drawing sheets sorted in every corresponding layer in a PSD file. Basically here, it will export one PSD for each frame. The timing data will not be kept within the file and every drawing sheet will be exposed to one frame. If you export your PSD as a sequence, you will be able to import the PSD in Calipeg as a horizontal PSD. Then I can export to a MP4 video with or without the audio. When exporting a video, I can also change the frame rate by tapping here. I can export to HEVC with Alpha, which will make a .mov video with a transparent background if I disable the export background option. That HEVC video can be imported back in Calipeg or in video editing apps such as LumaFusion or Final Cut Pro. I can also export as a GIF with or without background. You can use the thumbnail here to drag and see your animation. You can long touch and drag the starting position and the ending position. Tap here to change the start or the end or even your current frame. There are a few export options in Calipeg which allow you to import your animation within another software. Here, if you go to JSON, you can export to Toon Boom Harmony, Adobe After Effects, or TV Paint Animation. When you export your animation as a JSON, it will keep your layers and timing. And if you export to After Effects or Harmony, it will also keep your transformation layers and the curves, and you will still be able to modify them. In TV Paint, it will convert your transformation layers into drawing layers. You can tap on the link here to learn about how to import in the specific software you want. And we also made some videos so you can learn how to do that. I can also export to OCA and then I will be able to import into Blender. The last export possible is XDTS. It allows you to import your animation as a timesheet in Toei Digital or to import your layers and your timing in Clip Studio Paint and OpenToons. How to manage the file names of your exports in Calipeg. Go to the settings here, file name. The file name setting allow you to set the name of your files when you export a large number of files, typically in an image sequence. The first part here will define the name of the folders containing your files. When exporting an image sequence, each layer of your shot will be exported as a folder containing one image per drawing. I can tap here, go to the name of the shot, for example, I can change the type of link between the values and text. I can decide to enter text. I can add another number or delete it. Add text or delete it with a long touch and drag. And here I have the same system, but for my image file. So I will decide here to have the name of the layer and the number. And I can decide to put a dot instead. I go back to layer because it's more logical. It will export one folder per layer, but I could decide to put a name here, the name of the shot. So if I export an image sequence now, it will export my folders like that. Name of my shot, dot, name of the layer, dot, number of layer, dot, test. And each image will be name, name of the layer, dot, number. And I can decide also to tap any number I want here. If I want to have only two numbers, for example, 
And that's how you can manage the file naming of your exports in Calibre.